health of Narcisa Fernandez. We pray for the soul of Vensi Cutino. It is the month's mind mass. We pray for the good health of members of the Holy Cross community offered by the Holy Cross community and we pray for the intentions of all the people. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God who has commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual insight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. Abraham, Abraham, he called. Here I am, he replied. Take your son, God said, your only son Isaac, whom you love and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him as a burnt offering. On the mountain I will point out to you. When they arrived at the place God had pointed out to him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood. Then he stretched out his hand and seized the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, he said, I am here, he replied. Do not raise your hand against the boy, the angel said. Do not harm him, for now I know you fear God. You have not refused me, your son, your only son. Then looking up, Abraham saw a ram caught by its horns in a bush. Abraham took the ram and offered it as a burnt offering in place for, of his son. The angel of the Lord called Abraham a second time from heaven. I swear by my own behalf it is the Lord who speaks, because you have done this. Because you have not refused me, your son, your only son, I will shower blessings on you. I will make your descendants as many as the stars of heaven and the grains of sand on the seashore. Your descendants shall gain possession of the gates of their enemies. All the nations of the earth shall bless themselves by your descendants as a reward for your obedience. The word of the Lord, your response, I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I trusted even when I said, 
I am sorely afflicted. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. With God on our side, who can be against us? Since God did not spare his only son, but gave him up to benefit us all, we may be quite certain that after such a gift that he will not refuse anything he can give. Could anyone accuse those that God has chosen? When God acquits, could anyone condemn? Could Christ Jesus? No. He only, not only died for us, he rose from the dead, and there at God's right hand he stands and pleads for us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From the bright cloud, God's voice was heard. This is my son, listen to him. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain where they could be alone by themselves. There in their presence he was transfigured. His clothes became dazzlingly white, whiter than any earthly bleacher could make them. Elijah appeared to them with Moses and they were talking with Jesus. Then Peter spoke to Jesus. Rabbi, he said, it is wonderful for us to be here. So let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say, they were so frightened. And a cloud came covering them in shadow, and there came a voice from the cloud, This is my son, the beloved, listen to him. Then suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they came down the mountain, he warned them to tell no one what they had seen until after the Son of Man had risen from the dead. They observed the warning faithfully, though among themselves they discuss what rising from the dead could mean. The Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, in the first reading, we see how Abraham is willing to sacrifice what is precious to him, his son. And in the second reading, we read how God sacrificed his only son to save us. In the gospel, we hear how God transforms us when we listen to his son that is the message god our father is telling us this is my son listen to him let us pray for the grace always to listen to jesus and obey and do what is god's will amen I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. When Abraham was asked to sacrifice his son Isaac, it was to test his faith. By obeying God's command, Abraham proved to be a man of deep faith. For the grace to emerge victorious when we are tested, we pray. 
our response Lord hear our prayer all together Lord hear our prayer for the Pope bishops clergy and religious that as leaders in the church responsible for building up the community they may care for them as a shepherd cares for the sheep we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer as grooming of children involves much sacrifice and discipline from the part of parents children in equal measure may perform their duty to their parents by loving them and being obedient to them we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer that the season of Lent may become a time of spiritual renewal and enlightenment for all Christians so that renewed in spirit they may become lighted lamps that spread light wherever they are placed we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for all of us present in this Eucharist enlightened by the Word of God we may tune our ears in constant attention and hear the words of our Heavenly Father calling us his beloved children we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer let us pray for our personal intentions God our Father we thank you for accepting our prayers and petitions give us the grace that when tested we may respond with faith as Abraham did lead us to the glory that awaits us as we prepare ourselves for the Lord's resurrection here are prayers that we make today we make this prayer through Christ our Lord Amen Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life oh the joy of the lord is my strength my strength oh the joy of the lord is my help my help for the power of his spirit is in my heart and the joy of the Lord is my strength Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become a spiritual drink oh the joy of the Lord is my strength my strength oh the joy of the Lord is my help my help for the power of his spirit is in my heart and the joy of the Lord is my strength Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord 
For after he had told the disciples of his coming death on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory, to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the Holy, O Lord, the fun to fall holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Vinci, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
at the Savior's command, then formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me, protection in mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Come, Lord Jesus, come and, and be born in my heart. Let the Lord have his way in your life every day. There's no rest, there's no peace till the Lord has his way. Put your life in his hands, rest secure in his plans. Let the Lord let the Lord have his way. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the healthcare workers, that they are protected from the infection and strengthened in spirit. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers even now of the things of heaven. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever and keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory whose beauty he showed in his own body to the amazement of his apostles. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son 
and the Holy Spirit, let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. There shall be showers of blessing, this is the promise of love. There shall be seasons refreshing, sent from the Saviour above. Showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are falling, but for the showers we plead. Brothers and sisters, I wish you a good day. May God bless each one of us. Amen.